infrastructure that has enriched some, but impoverished everyone else. And that's what he finally did. In essence, he wiped the debt slate clean. You mean he defaulted, says Scrooge? He shudders, envisioning what would happen to his own investment portfolio under these circumstances. Absolutely, says the spirit. The alternative would have been a blood-soaked and costly revolution because the Athenian peasants have been ground down too far. When death becomes too highly concentrated in the hands of a few, the account must be balanced peacefully or chaos and destruction will be the result. In this case, the rich and powerful who have taken so much over so many years were forced to pay back by having their claims destroyed. And the result was renewed prosperity for the community. That's one form of account balancing. Now, let me show you another. Time flickers again, and they're looking down at a medieval port city. Kaffa, says the spirit, on the coast of the Black Sea, a colony founded by the Genoese to exploit the overland trade from the Far East. The year is 1347. A great many people down there are already paying their debts to nature. Scrooge and the spirits will blow over Kaffa. The city is in a It has barely survived a Mongol siege, but not before mm. being infected with the Black Death from the virus-ridden besiegers. Now people are dropping That's like flies in the narrow, overcrowded yes, filthy streets. Yes, you're a good little girl. Harbor, crowds of panic-stricken citizens are pushing their way yes, onto the ships. Yes, and you're a clever little Joey as well. Why have you brought me here, says Scrooge? When can we leave? The stench arising from Kappa is ten times as awful as the stench of Jake Molly's ghost. The Black Death is about to invade Europe, says the spirit birthday past. No country will be spared. The plague will come by sea. Both Genoese galleys from Kappa will spread it, and then it will run like wildfire. It's a good story, isn't it? Cities there are overcrowded and unsanitary, and the countries are overpopulated and malnourished, having exhausted the food resources available to That's them. the frog that eats In the mosquitoes. Years, by the time the first wave of the great yes. mortality is over, half of the people now living will be dead. Cities will be empty. A great many animals and birds will also die. Farms will fall into ruin. Forests will grow over them. The entire landscape of Europe will be transformed. On ABC Radio National's Summer Talks, I'm Paul Barclay, and today you're listening to the final in the series of five Massey lectures called Payback, Debt and the Shadow Side of Wealth, written and presented by Margaret Atwood. Hello, Damien Carrick here. Everyone knows you can't sack somebody because of their religion. But what about a strongly held belief? In the UK, a disgruntled employee claims he was dismissed because of his concerns about climate change. And speaking of belief in those delightfully eccentric Brits, a police trainer claims he was unfairly sacked because he believes in the power of psychics. That's on The Law Report. You can download or stream this program from the Radio National website. Yes. On ABC Radio National, and you are Fruit Loops. Talks today, the fifth and final mm -hmm. in our daughter of Fruit Cake, written and presented by Margaret. And fruit Cake was and daughter of Fran Three. Remembering that she began and Fran Three was daughter of Fran Two. A couple of years ago, well yes. before we heard of the now common. Yes, Africa, and you're a, not. GFC, well, you're almost a footling, aren't you? Crisis. Next yeah. to each other, debts to society. Are you a footling yet? The greatest debt of all, says Atwood, is our debt. This thing is turning into a television documentary of the kind Scrooge always switches off. Poor people, famines, diseases and disasters, all of that, because why dwell on such negative details? He would really, really like to be back in his own bed, or one of his beds. 
But instead, they're fast forwarding through the Black Death, which is very gruesome. Some people are coughing blood, others are turning black, still others are sprouting huge It's okay. Holes. When any bad situation is getting worse, says the spirit, a sententious girl, as such spirits tend to be, people react in a few predictable ways. During the Black Death, many took self-protective actions, such as smelling floral bouquets, sitting beside hot fires, abandoning sick family members, or running away, thereby spreading the virus. If they were rich, they locked themselves up in their castles, hoping to shut the plague out. Oopsie. Others, feeling that long-term financial planning was a waste of time, lived for the moment and enjoyed themselves Ooh, as much had as enough. possible. This enjoyment took several okay. forms, from feasting and consensual sex, to reading, oh. raping, and pillaging. Did I say some of that, says so Scrooge? There we go. Who likes to cut to the chase? Two and a half pieces of bread. Six and a half minutes. Giving food, rendering what medical yes. assistance they could to the dying. Okay. See you later. Perishing the flagellants who whipped themselves and prayed, and because they roamed from town to town, also mm. spread the flag. There are many Fruit loop. Who sometimes comes to share my food.